Los Angeles Rams. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Hurts throwing right away. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here now, second and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got his tight end. It's Albert Okuwebunov. And he's across midfield from 149 to the other 49. A gain of just two. You talk about this Rams defense. They come into this one way down at number 23 against the run of the NFL. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And now a decision here on the opening drive. Fourth and very short, this part of the field. What do you think they do, CD? I think you go for it. I think there's a lot of game left to be played. I like the advantage that they're trying to create here early. I say be aggressive and try and get it done. They'll run for it with Eckler. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out fourth and inches in plus territory that seemed like a prime spot to go for it it certainly did and there's so many things that go into it are you too far away for a field goal but not far away to punt it do you just feel like your offense is better i just think in today's nfl offense feels like it has to take care of the football has to keep the ball because scoring is up you better maximize every possession you trust your offense more than you trust your defense in today's league here's second and five now from the 37. Here's Hurts to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. Second down, here's Hertz. Flush to his right. And that one into the hands of Brown downfield. And he's going to get this down inside the five before he's out of bounds. A big play there for Philly. 43 yards. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Eckler. He's going to go backwards. He'll lose yardage back to the five. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. Austin Eckler. His first touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are on the board first on the road here in L.A. Elliott good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here we go. Here we go. 
And they faked the handoff. Now Lance. A quick throw there is incomplete. You look at this Eagle defense. And right now in the National Football League, they're ranked number 18 against the pass. Definitely going to need to be physical with these receivers, whether that's right at the line of scrimmage, trying to jam them and bump them off their routes, or when the ball arrives and you go ahead and put your shoulder into them and try and knock it loose. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing now is Lance. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they're looking at a second down and nine to go. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. First target, first catch at a first down. And they'll send Cup in motion right. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. And the Rams had a disappointing 0-4 through the first month of the year. And they come into this one knowing it's been a while since they've had a W. They have dropped four in a row. Let me tell you, when you go a month partner, in this league, without a victory, it gets tough to come to work every day. And in addition, you start to wonder about your job security as well. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his lance on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. The kick by Maher is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, taking it right down Broadway through the middle of the field. And they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Lance now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They need 12 here. It's third down. 
Now Lance going to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 45 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. On first and 10, it's Hurts. On the move to his left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Throwing his hurts. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there, ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. This short throw caught by Goddard. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. So after the fourth down conversion, now first and 10 inside the 25. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Albert Okuebunab from six yards away. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Blitz coming and down he goes. Fletcher Cox able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. And they'll go for it. Lance. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Elliott on for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. 
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. To throw, it's Lance. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Rams set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail here as we resume play. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Here's Lance to throw it. Flushed out right. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. And Lance now to throw. And he checks this one down to Williams. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Completion good for 14 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. On first and ten, here's Lance. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Lance looking to throw it. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Well, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The 71 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Eckler are going to get it again on second down. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. But first down, Hurts. He'll get that complete to Albert O. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. From the 22 now, here's a second and seven. Hurt sets up to throw it. Caught by Jones. 
A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A yard all they need, but it's third down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Yeah, so they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. Running on first down, Eckler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. Down the right sideline, touchdown! Olamide Zacchaeus, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Eagles are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Elliott good with a PAT. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number. That they and now the rookie's free. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, L.A. Puka Nakua, 75 yards. And the Rams are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that will cut this lead down to 25. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this one travels out of bounds, so unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Eckler now between the tackles. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Up the middle with Eckler. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A lot. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Now they get a fourth-quarter pick, a little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play. Trying to find cup, but it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byer. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. Now Lance. This is Cup holding in a great catch. And he's going to get this down near the 25. 
Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Excellent work there by Lance as he scrambles for the first down. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Pass complete there to Nakua. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first, and it'll bring up third down now. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. They'll buy some time right. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Desperation time here. Lance. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That one looks like he'll throw here. Over the middle complete. That's Jones. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On third down, here's Eckler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 91 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. It's Eckler again. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So it's the Eagles who get the win here. And the guy who really led the way was their quarterback, CD, and that's Jalen Hurts. Yeah, sometimes you just have those games where everything's clicking, and this was one of those days. He wound up with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. He was large and in charge all day long. So for the Eagles, it took a while, but they finally get that first win after four straight losses.